Okay, so it, it, it's pretty long just because there was there were six puppies in the litter. So these are the first puppies, the two puppies. Um, and these are, this is normal behavior for a pup, right? These are all very normal puppies, both of them very normal puppies. <laughs> what do you think they are? Doctors. They probably have two or three daddies, who knows? Um, I think actually they got a or shepherd. They are about, I think, 10 weeks old. This is the next two puppies. This puppy is, now what she's doing there is she's trying to offer the dog a treat. A normal puppy or a normal dog will take a treat. If they're not taking a treat, and if their mouth is closed like that, the closed mouth normally means stress. There are some dogs that close their mouth a lot, but most of them have their mouth just slightly open. So this dog is, She's coping okay with being in the lab, and she's probably making the evaluator feel, you know, cozy. So this is a, this is a borderline puppy. <laughs> so there are two adult dogs. These are just a, a dogs that have gone to the evaluator. And they're playing, and you can see that the puppy is pretty well socialized to other dogs because she grew up in a, in a situation where there were other dogs. She's very submissive. It's quite, it's quite appropriate behavior. But she really likes the golden retriever. <laughs> Now, what's she doing with the evaluator? Nothing. Not a blessed thing. She is not paying any attention to the evaluator because people really have played no part in her early life. And she's very nervous. Can you see that? She's more nervous with people than with the dog. Oh, much more nervous with people because she, again, was not around people. Now, she's nervous with me with the camera, too. She's such a funny eye looking at her. But watch her come back again. And watch her look at the evaluator. Oh. <laughs> and now she's a little sitting down is so cute. Okay, this this pup is extremely stiff. And again, the mouth is closed. If you think back to the other puppy, the puppy's mouth was open. So it's a kind of a fairly obvious thing to look for. Now, this is the puppy that's going to take care of her extremes, isn't it? Because it looks so scared and it's hugging, hugging the evaluator. But is it, is it comfortable? There's no way this dog is comfortable. And the evaluator is just falling in love. <laughs>
So I'm going to go over just really quickly some of the things that we do in an evaluation just to, you know, because we're not going to actually do an evaluation. Um, but things that are extremely important for us to, to know about uh, is, uh, or for us to do, is to make sure the dog is as relaxed in its environment as it can be. That means that the dog has to know what the routine is. The dog has to know that they're going to get fed twice a day and at what times of the day they're going to get fed. If they don't know that, then they're, they're just in a morass of, of fear. So a routine has to be set up. Um, again, if you, if you think in terms of being going to a, a, uh, uh, an alien world and not knowing that, not language, not knowing what the people do, not knowing anything about them, what you want is some routine just that you can hang your hat on. And that's what the dogs need. They also, if possible, should have a schedule where they're taken out at about the same time every day. So that they know that that's going to happen. But if they can't do that, and they can't in a lot of shelter environments, at least they should get fed at the same time in the morning and the evening. Um, then they're, and so that would be three days. If they're there for too much longer than three to five days, then they start to get stressed. So, you know, you, you only have like a, a little window of time where the dog is going to give you a lot of really, uh, as, as, as normal behavior as they can under the circumstances. And always bearing that in mind. Um, we always make sure that the dog is quite comfortable. We take them outside to relieve themselves. A house trained dog might go to the bathroom four or five times because they've been holding it so long. So give them ample time to do that. And while you're doing that, you're observing the dog as well. What he's like in his environment. Remember the puppy going all the way around the, the, uh, the, the room. I mean, if, if, if the dog that you're evaluating has his tail tucked under, I just did a consult with a dog that had, was a breeder for a golden retriever, breeder for a puppy mill. She's six years old. She's terrified of anything that is not a kennel. So when she goes into a new environment, she does this same thing that puppy did. Tail all the way under, go all the way around the side to, to, to be as far away from you as possible, and looks for a place to hide. The owners of the Golden Retriever said that she went under the guy's desk, and that's where she wants to stay all the time. So I said, well, no matter what, because that's not going to help her at all. 